Hi guys, welcome back. It's Amanda. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by this video today. Today I have got a Lidl haul. Um, found a lot of good reduced clearance items. We love those clearance items, guys. Um, and stuff that I usually don't find on clearance, but I did. I didn't. I've been looking to get a lot of dairy products. I haven't been seeing them myself, so I just went in and picked them up at the regular price, which isn't bad. Um, I did find quite a few surprises today. I usually go first thing in the morning, but I had to go in town and pick up my daughter from work, so I went in the afternoon. Um, I think the, anyway, I think the prices are good. Lidl this week, check out, if you got the Lidl app, check your app because there's some amazing coupons that made these deals absolutely amazing. Plus you can earn points to get discounts on, on other stuff. And so anyway, let me go ahead and turn this around. Just a quick video to show you what I got. This is really the first big, biggest grocery haul I can say I've gotten in a while because I've just been picking up things here and there according to what I need. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get in and show you what I got the deals. All right, guys, I'm going to start right here. It's a lot of lunch meat. I hadn't planned it that way, but it was a lot of lunch, lunch meat. I was going in there for certain items and found stuff on clearance, so I picked them up. So anyway, they had these right here. This is roast beef. It is a pound of roast beef. They had that for $6.29 for a pound. It's on clearance. Um, I'm going to put them in the freezer because actually I still have, I have one that I got about a week or so ago in the refrigerator. Um, that I'm still eating off of. So I picked up two of those. Those were $6.29 a piece. This is what I went in there for. The, now, y'all, I have never tried a Bubba Burger in my life, but they're normally $9.99. They had them for $4.99. I figure we'll go ahead and try it. Um, y'all leave a comment below. I have, like I said, I have never tried this stuff. Have no clue. I'm going to hope it tastes good. They had the regular stuff on sale and then they had the ones with the sweet onions. All they had was sweet onions. I'm like, who doesn't like a burger with onions? So I went ahead and picked up two of these. They were $4.99 a piece. Y'all, this was my favorite deal. This is my favorite deal. Y'all know how I love my Jimmy Dean sausage. I can't ever find it anymore. Um, cheapest, well, actually, yeah, the cheapest I've seen it is, Wal is at Walmart. And it, at Walmart, it's like four sixty, seventy a pound. Anyway, and I usually I I stock up when I go to the mountains, but my my stash is getting low. Stash is getting low, so I was thinking, um, thanking the Lord to find this right here. Anyway, because literally, y'all, I go through about two pounds of this week. Literally, two, four, six, eight. That's eight pounds a month. Yeah, yeah, a month. <laughs> I'm trying to count here. Um. Anyway, they were normally three fifty. Well, they said three fifty. It was like a ninety nine cent coupon and made these $2.50 a piece. $2.50 a piece for Jimmy Dean sausage. Cannot beat it. It was a limit of four. I could go back and get more, which I, I, I'm, I'm thinking on it. Um, I'm supposed to make a trip up to the mountains within the next few weeks, and I usually get it there anywhere from a dollar to two dollars. I'm just going to wait and see. Um, but for 50 cents more, yeah, we'll go ahead and get it. Good deal. Um, I also picked up this oven roasted turkey breast. It was $4.99 regular, like $8. They, um, they lowered the price on it. It's not outdated or anything, but I thought that was really good. Got a can of chili. I know, I know, y'all. I need to go ahead and make my own. But the problem is I don't eat chili. And my husband, when I make it, I need to make it on a Saturday. If I made it on a Saturday, if I made it on a Saturday then he would be able to taste it to see if it's got the right seasoning in it. Because like I said, I don't like the stuff. Um, so I went ahead and cheated. And of course, I just, I bought this so he can have his slaw dogs. You know, um, he eats stuff that I don't. But anyway, um, that wasn't bad. It was actually $2.50 for this. Uh, I know I can make it a whole lot cheaper. But I need to make it on a Saturday, a whole batch, and put them in the canner. Oh, y'all. Let me go ahead and tell you. I've been telling you I was going to do an Amazon haul. I got me a new canner. I got me a new canner. Yes, that was my Amazon haul last week. I just never got around to doing a video out of it. Um, mine, his regular one, has been on the blink for the longest time. And because it's been on the blink, um, which means it's not been working right, I, I knew I needed a backup. So I went ahead and bought a backup. So um, I will definitely, I will definitely be able to make up some home um, homemade chili and can it up instead of buying the canned stuff. Y'all, there's nothing wrong with the canned stuff. Um, I just know I already have all the ingredients here. I can make it 
And instead of putting it in the freezer like I was doing it, um, I will just go ahead and can it. When I do, I'm over you guys long. But it's going to have to be on Saturday, like I said, because um, Richard's going to have to taste it because I really have no idea what it tastes like. Okay, we're on to side note. Let's get back to the rest of the haul. A chili, $2.49. They also had these whole baby Bella mushrooms for $1.29. They're normally like $3. I picked up three. Um, I'm probably going to go back and get more because I'm a hobbit. I love my mushrooms. Yeah, if you know what a hobbit is. Um, I love my mushrooms. And these are kind of big enough you can stuff them. And they're good on sal they're good on anything. The best thing about it, you can eat the you can eat these things like crazy. They fill you up, they're good for you, and they're they're just they're just good. I love them, love them, especially on salads. Okay, what else did I get? Over here I picked up another. They had y'all y'all seen this, this is a repeat. Um, 97 cents for um, English muffins. Every time I see them discounted, brings them down 97 cents. I get them. I picked up these. Okay, this was my, what I call my, not my expense, but my, um, what's the word for it? These, they are the carb, the low carb, what's it called? Carb counter, carb lean tortillas. Um, these are mine. These are mine. Um, I'm trying to cut my carbs along with everything else. With uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to do some things in my life to make myself healthier. Um, and I went ahead and picked that up. That was $3. That was $4 for that pack. Ouch. Um, definitely going to be looking for them when I head back up to the discount grocery store in the mountains. Because usually I can pick them up for nothing. So, y'all like that? That's my list. Can you see that? That's my list. I can't lose my list if it's on my hand. Okay, side note. Um, anyway, I picked up those. Those were $3.98, $4, but honestly, this will last me a long time. It's got only eight in it. They'll last me a long time because it'll only be me. Um, picked up a head of lettuce, picked up husband's grapes. Got to have his grapes. They were $1.88 a pound this week. Um, I probably could have found them cheaper somewhere else, but like I just wanted to go one place and there. Chips for hubby's lunch, two oh eight, dollars and some Swiss cheese, two fifteen. dollars so all of this was a total of $65.22. Oh, I didn't show you wave petunia. I got a six pack of wave petunias to make two baskets out of for $4. That was a good price. Um, I didn't show you that. But here's the prices on everything and the discounts and all that other stuff here. So that's actually, I think this was a pretty good haul, all in all, um, for the price I paid for it. Especially considering I got a lunch, a, a lot of lunch meat that's going to last a while, throw in the freezer, some dinners, and y'all, my sausage, my sausage, plus stuff I don't usually get right there. So guys, if you have a Lidl, go check them out. I absolutely have fallen in love with Lidl. They are my go-to store. It used to be Aldi. Um... I've been finding better deals over at um, Lidl lately. Um, and like I said, everything you see over here that I've shopped, I'm not going to buy it. Well, I'm not going to say I don't going to buy it unless it's, if it's, unless it's on sale because I got those tortillas and that chili. That wasn't on sale. Those are just two things that I needed. Um, but the meats and stuff like that, definitely that's how I stock up my freezer is by definitely going for the sales. So anyway, hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope to see you in the next video. You guys have a blessed one. God bless.